Greetings everybody and welcome, it is Rob from the Sage Tower and I'm here with some videos describing one of my new favorite systems to play that is City of Mist. These videos will be a City of Mist basic videos kind of going through talking about the game, explaining some of the game mechanics, details, settings in detail for you guys to learn the game, pick up the game and hopefully play the game yourselves. It is a great game to play. It is a lot of fun to play. And I'm hoping that by making these videos, I can help give more content out there for City of Mist. Now, the City of Mist does have their own YouTube channel that does have similar videos. I will definitely recommend those as well. This is more of someone who's not making the game, but someone who has GM the game, who has the materials, and someone who has come from a D&D Pathfinder background to a more play by the apocalypse fate type system. That being said, what is the city? Now the city of mist or the city, the best way I can explain it to you guys is think of it like the matrix. It is a city that people live in going about their daily day. Maybe some weird stuff happens, but they kind of, you know, brush it under the the rug, it could just be some weird strange occurrences, it happens in any city. But at some point, you awaken in the city. And when you awaken, you not only do you feel this strange presence inside you that kind of gives you abilities and powers, you start to see what is really happening in the city and see that you are not alone. There are plenty of people here who also have awoken and have these unique special abilities and powers. What kind of abilities are these? These are abilities or this thing inside you is almost like a living legend, something trying to tell its story and it can be anything. And that is the beauty of the game. Now, what makes it so good is that you can be anything that you want to be. You could be channeling the spirit of Don Quixote inside you. You could be channeling Excalibur or King Arthur or Merlin, anybody from the Arthurian stories. You can be mythological beings like Thor, Apollo, Hades. You can even be folklore characters like Paul Bunyan or storytelling characters like Red Riding Hood. And it can be anything because it's just trying to tell the story of that person, that person's legend through the city itself. And that is a big thing. There are no classes. There are no levels or anything like that. It is just for you to explore your story and explore your character and tell them as you go about investigating all the strange occurrences that are happening in the city. That being said, the city is not going to take it down a uh, fight. And what I mean by that is the city also has the mist. Now the mist can vary depending on your, you know, your world, your kind of setting, your story, however you are playing it. But what the mist's role is, is essentially the mist is there to suppress these legends, suppress these stories. It interferes with them stops them from telling their stories it stops those who haven't awoken to see what's really going on from seeing what's going on you know shrouding things making them forget what they saw distracting them so they, they don't see what's going on all this kind of methods and the way the mist works is the veil if you will that ensures that what is happening is still kind of in the shadows and it's not people walking down the street you know there's flailing thunderbolts and everything because the, it is still a city it is still people living here and there will be characters that you interact with who are not special they do not have abilities but they can be just as important and more importantly they can still be just as big of a threat with this we kind of wrap up our first video discussing the city of the mist in terms of the actual city itself. Now, as I mentioned, the city is a great place to explore your story and explore that living legend inside of you. But the mist will definitely make it hard for you to contain that and keep it in check 
And that is the nice struggle between exploring, but not going too crazy to draw too many unwanted eyes on you. Hope you've enjoyed this video and be sure to follow and like this video for more of my City of Mist basic videos. Thank you guys.